Okay, continuing on with the Hildebrand quest lines to Lunar Conspiracy. Artorius, I have new leads! And just as I promised, you're the first to know. Before we can get to the details though, I should give you a give you back your soul container. I give the good scrub first, of course. Being the gentleman that he is, I am sure the expector wouldn't want to leave any lingering spiritual odors. Um, thank you, Nashu. There, now we can listen to my findings without having distracting thoughts like, when is Nashu gonna give back my soul container or anything? Now, as for the first lead I mentioned, I was stumbling through a periodical and periodical and found an article on an alien abduction. The way it was described was almost exactly what happened to the inspector. It even a, had a little diagram of a man swimming in mid-air. Anyway, the author seemed convinced that the victim has been taken to the moon. This crap out theory sounds awfully familiar. Why does it sound like the rubbish that the Tavarian Truth publishes? That's because it is. You remember Dorian, the editor in briefs? In briefs, briefs? He was the one who wrote it. And he plans to do research for the next edition on the moon itself. Apparently, there's a portal of something in Garland that would take you to take you straight there. Oh, but a world of hoping adventures like you would be into the moon already. No, it'll be the back of your hand. I bet. Indeed it is. I thought so. It'd be nice to have an ex expert guy to help out there and help me search for clues. What do you say? To the moon, Nashu! We shouldn't be so quick to trust a nonsensical rambling of a man who sees aliens in every shadow. But the alien did steal the inspector, just like Dorian said. I, for one, have faith in his journalistic intensity. Well, you had faith in him. I don't. And even if it wasn't an alien, that funny little ship did look like it was heading to Moonward. Would you agree? Oh yeah. Right, I start packing my bags. I don't know what weather is in the moon, but I remember Garland being a bit chilly the last time I was there. Alright, so we need to go to Camp Broken Glass. Mm -mm 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 -mm, and Garland. Okay, here we are. Cap, Captain, uh, my Captain, Camp Broken Grass. And Nasha, you haven't changed anything. Your outfit's still the same. Oh, it's m much colder than I rem rem remembered. I sure hope this lunar gate is close. Much, uh, not quite. Unless you can teleport there. The Tower of Babel? You mean that big spiky spire? Well, we definitely should get, shouldn't get shouldn't get lost on the way there, so let's get moving. Alright, let's go to the Tower of Babel now. Uh, we need to teleport to the next station. Alright, here we are at the Tower of Babel. Well, the outside part of it. So, um, this thing was sent us up to the moon, just like that? Courage, Nashu, courage! Alright, so we need to get to the elevator, get to the top floor. The world is in danger, and the people deserve to know. No. I have to reach the moon so I can expose the truth. As I explained to you twice already, only I can allow passage to authorized travelers, which you are not. Ah, are you with them, aren't you? The aliens have infiltrated the every layer of our society. What in the blazes are you talking about? I'm a Damascan born and raised. 
Oh, look! It's Dorian, the editor in briefs. That's Dillian, editor in chief. Thank you very much. And you are with friends of the abducted, I believe? Ah, Artorias, greetings! Are you quiet with this man by any chance? He expresses in my direction once. No, no, I am affiliated with him in any way, shape, or form. I wouldn't think so. He doesn't seem to be the kind of company like a hero like you would keep. But Atorius, are you forgetting the whole conversation we had with Dorian back at Rasahan? Oh yeah, the one when he talks about ears and shit? Yeah, that was like that one moment I don't want to remember. A Taurus, as in a Taurus Pendragon, Slayer of Gods, Saber Ishgard, Liberator of the Providence, Stealer of Pants? Wait. Since when I steal pants? Okay. How do they fall to the recognize such an unbelievable famous individual? As a champion of the people, you have the duty to lead us through this strangling checkpoint. We cannot let our comrade's abduction go unresolved. He needs you, and the world needs my next article. Ah, oh, fine. Could you let him too, too? And you believe he has taken to the moon? Well, that is certainly sounds like an emergency to me. Your acquaintance here seems sincere in his desire to help. So, I will grant him special... Desperation, no, Tempestation to accompany you just this once. You may proceed to the nether gate. Mysterious forces have trust, trust us together, and though I must take fate about as much, as much as that I am obviously compromised gate guard, I will leave no moonstone unturned. The truth is up there. <sighs> I'm going to regret this. Alright, we're here in the moon. Oh, the moon is just as white and shiny up close. <laughs> but not made of cheese. And no sign of the Expector Hildebrand either. So, we have arrived! The Emperor's technology is more advanced than I have feared. Yes! Over there! The aliens have built some kind of forward base on the lunar surface. We must be sneak in and blow the lid of this invasion plans. Ugh, this guy. Looks like Dorian has lead us has a lead. Come on, we should follow him. Aliens! Honest to good aliens! And I expect them to be so Oh, or so small and bunny-like. Welcome, if I had known I've been receiving so many visitors, I would have sent for more tea. That voice speaking in my head. I don't know the words, but their meaning is clear. Are, are they wielding psychotic powers to try and brainwash me? You right there, friend. Need anything in particular? And this one speak our tongue? Fluently? Learn for our Sherlock and collaborators, I wager. Don't think you fool me with your adorable bunny nose and sunken ears. I print the truth before you arrive to beguile my fellow men. Um, you're one of the Eurasia friends, aren't you? I'm not sure who or what put such odd ideas in your companion's head, but would you mind setting him straight for me? Sure. Alright. The Lopres are not invaders, although their adorable does believe to be capacity of shenanigans. The Lopres are aliens of allies of all kind, of mankind. Misguided 
attempts to make us slip off carrots alone, notwithstanding. <laughs> um. Lopez are allies of mankind. Misdying attempts to make us live off carrots alone, notwithstanding. Yes! They got, they got to you, didn't they? Ugh. I suppose I should not be surprised. I heard the rumors about the disbanded science of the Seven Dawn. The formerly secret society has in the truth become all more secret. That they may pull our leader strings from the shadows. Hold it right there, mister. I won't stand here to listen to you slunder our tourists of this lovely bunny or any longer. You better not liberate label them neither. We actually came in search for Inspector Hildebrand, a dashy gentleman who we think might who was brought here by a shiny flying saucer. Would you happen to have seen either of them around here, would you? Oh, I'm afraid I have not neither. Long was it is my duty to keep watch, but as need of a constant vision has said and ended, I have grown accustomed to Idealius. It is rather refreshing, really. Anyway, perhaps the Loppers may have observed this man and his abductor. Hmm, I feel I wouldn't remember if I had. The others might have seen something, though. Why don't you take over to the best rain burrows? You might ask them about it yourselves. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Please, lead the way. If nothing else, getting an earful of the facilities we have built here for the benefit of mankind should help reassure your suspicious friend there. Okay. Oh, they actually put, brought us here? Thank god, I don't need to teleport or anything. So many bunnies! If they can build a forward base of this scale, then what hope does mankind have against them? Oh, for the love of carrots. This is not the military operation. Do you see any cannons or assault craft? Do we have any, any weaponry at all? Take your time and chat with everyone you like. As for me, I got perfect inconsurious and not at all nefarious things to do. Bye now. Right then, let's get on with the investigation. Not sure not sure not company okay. Alright, let's where to go from here. It's telling me to go up. Oh no, right here. Okay. Alright, let's talk with the conspirator first to get him out of the way. At 8, right? A like adventure too for meeting with the Sir Lion conspirators? No doubt. Oh, they just tell you the Etherite were an elegant invention? But it was really just one of merely alien technology secrets received in exchange for their undying loyalty. Lick purse too. Be careful what you say on those private calls, the Sherlines are always listening. Jesus, this guy. Alright, you, uh, Mosh? Not Mosh, Tashu. Look, they even have an H right here. Wow, she's just brief compared to him. Thank God on that. Alright, so let's go this way. Then grid Lopret. Oh, I've often stretched my legs out there under the stars, but can't say I have noticed anything of the ordinary. Sorry. Not to worry, we'll try our luck elsewhere. Thank you. Furry faced liars, a lot of them. They're probably hiding an entire fleet of alien attack craft. Jesus, I want to slap you so hard. Ugh. Alright, moving on.
Alright, what does he have to say about this one this time? A propulsion engine? Of course! This is no mere moon! You know, the satellite upon which we stand near a neutral celestial body, right? It was a grand fabrication of the ancients. They were in contact with aliens even back then. But it proposed that their ambitious construction has to do with this. Until now, it is obvious that the moon itself is a colossal star-faring vessel. Oh, well, on that part, he's right about that. But not about the other ones. That's a big fan! It must get really hot in here. Like, now she's just, just really straight to the point. Okay, a low frame promoter. Oh! Ever since we built the Extractaton 6000, we got all kinds of people around here. Can you describe your missing friend in a bit more detail? Well, he's very gentle to me. And dapper, if you look past the almost certainly tattered state of his clothing. Hmm, though the fashion sense can be a bit, a bit electric, our visiting adventures have always dressed him impartially. Not to be rude, but I have a feeling your friend would be stood out in that clap and stood out in that crowd. He's probably strapping on the table somewhere, even as we speak. Enduring unspeakable experiments. <laughs> For what I experienced together so far, the giant alien is the master, and all these smaller Xeno bunnies are the artificial life forms created to serve as the minions in his armies. His harmless appearance is certainly a part of strategy. As soon as he will let your guard down, snap! They will snap, take you down in the, like a pack of tiny herbivorous wolves. Dory has some interesting theories, doesn't he? Being nibbled to the death by a mob of cuddly bunnies doesn't sound like a bad way to go, honestly. Again. Slap this man. Alright, where are we going now? Okay, so now we're going to Weaving Way. <sighs> no gentleman in ragged clothes, I'm afraid, but I do spot the object in fighting that I could couldn't immediately identify. It was a while when I was scattering materials in the south of Marilect Room. I presume it was some allegenic relic or new species of floating jellyfish. And it didn't take much of it, honestly. Dante, where are you going? Sure. Now that sounds promising. Thank you for your time. What are you doing? What is this? Then, a pot of growing new Xenon bunnies? We must plan to produce them in the millions and overwhelm us with sheer fuzzy numbers. Ah! How could I have been so blind that those ears, the cyclic wave generators that lure people close to their precious little faces, and then BAM! Brainwash. I figured it all out, alien scum! And once this word reads my special edition, your dreams of domination will be done for. <laughs> what a strange and oddly abrogating man. Is he a friend of yours too? Not mine, sure, not mine one bit. He thinks he's a friend of the people, but I don't think any people are his friends. Right, let's go out there and find this flying object. Do you know which direction is south? Yep. Alright, let's go. Come on, Darion. Wait, I'm coming with you. Don't leave me alone with this brainwashing Xenobunnies. Jesus. Alright, so we're going... where to now? Okay, down there.
All right, here we are. Just need to touch down. Search for the flying object. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Okay. All right, where is this flying object now? Well, this Nashu and Argros. Oh, there it is. Can I zoom in? Zoom in. Ah, come on. It's in my. Z I can see it right there. Come on, come, come. Hold on, a little closer. Come on. Right there. Found ya. There's a spacecraft. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, there it goes. Come on. We can't let it get away! Indeed, we need to find an inspector. 